हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ जोहेब खान डायरेक्टर एट हेल्थ आक इनसाइट्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो सीरीज मैनेजमेंट कंसल्टिंग एज अ करियर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट हाउ टू अप्रोच अ केस इंटरव्यू सो ब्रॉडली लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज़ अ केस इंटरव्यू यू आर गिवन अ क्लाइंट सिचुएशन एंड यू आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू सॉल्व इट इन अ कोलेबरेटिव मैनर अलॉन्ग विद द इंटरव्यूअर सो ब्रॉडली देर आर टू बकेट्स ऑफ केसेज वन इज एन इंटरव्यूअर लेट केस इन विच द इंटरव्यूअर विल हैव स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन विल प्रोवाइड यू इन्फॉर्मेशन शीट्स और डेटा शीट्स फॉर ईच क्वेश्चन सम ऑफ दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन मे बी यूजफुल सम मे बी नॉट सो यू विल बी एक्सपेक्टेड टू प्रायोरिटाइज द इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड देन ड्राइव टूवर्ड्स द सोल्यूशन द सेकेंड बकेट ऑफ केस इंटरव्यूज इज कैंडिडेट लेट इंटरव्यूज इन विच यू आर गिवन अ broad client situation and you are expected to break it into logical parts and drive it towards a conclusion examples of such cases could be a guesstimate or a market sizing case or a market entry case or you know a growth strategy profitability analysis buy versus build decisions etc the method to solve both these types of cases remains the same that you really need to think from first principles you need to break down the problem to very fundamental blocks and then try to analyze and solve it typically the b school uh, frameworks of 4 c's 4 p's pestel bcg matrix ge mckenzie matrix porter's five forces etc are not directly applicable to real life cases so you should have such frameworks in the background but when you are approaching a case you should do it using first principles where you know the first kind of stage of solving a case is understanding the problem it's always a good idea to reiterate your understanding to the interviewer ask clarifying questions so you don't start on the wrong foot then the second part is breaking the problem down into logical pieces and then trying to analyze and reach towards a conclusion for each of those pieces and then in the end integrating your analysis and thought process and communicating an overall recommendation to the interviewer one caveat for case interviews is that you should not jump to conclusion or you should not be too attached with the approach that you have thought at the start you should always uh, try to build towards a conclusion and in the process also be cognizant of the cues that you are receiving from the interviewers so with this we conclude our video series thanks for listening in